pants back on. I was going to say, I, I'm just glad to let uh, that I got out of Kendall jail to be honest again. <laughs> this is the worst tour line I've ever been. The worst what? Cheeto. Da da da. Da da da. Uncultured swine. <laughs> and this is why we don't let Bat Mouse on, on air. I hope Batmouse wins with that helmet. I'm rooting. Ba- I'm. I'm not oh, of course you're rooting Batmouse. Okay, you guys. You guys totally just talked through the the whole intro. So, uh, I'll uh I'll I'll communicate that better next time. Uh, because you guys can't hear it. I was gonna cut you off with it, but you guys can't hear it, and I can't hear it either. I hope it was there. Um. Okay, everything's recording. We're streaming. Anyway, uh, welcome to Top Eight with Corin and Batmouse. I'm your I'm your uh, host, Kendall. With me, as always, is Batmouse. Hey, howdy, hey. We have our advocate of trivia. I think that's the, is that the title that I gave you last time? Or I hope you... so. Oh, or I got a promotion. Or you got a promotion? Yeah, you're our trivia advocate, uh, Mr. Chris Kelly. And hey, then, everyone. And then we have, uh, yes, straight out of Kendall Jail. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dan Tartaglione. Well, doubles this time. And uh, and uh, the the person who has never been to Kendall Jail, uh, Mr. Mr. Carl Koenig. I'd like for everyone who heard that intro, I am in fact wearing pants. Okay, I just want that to be clear. <laughs> That's just now more, you are. Can we double check that? I love I love that I love that like. I mean, so so we are we are streaming this live on on Twitch. I hope. Um, yes, and, I can confirm. Uh, <laughs> and, but but this is going to be released as as an audio, like like normal. I do like that that Chris made a visual joke uh, that that actually only works in audio. Um, so <laughs> so we're going to be doing. So we are going to be ranking all sixteen versions of Luke. I'm gonna hand the the reins over to uh, to Chris, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna talk about uh, what we're gonna be doing today. Yeah, so today we're gonna be ranking all 16 versions of Luke Skywalker in Star Wars CCG. We're gonna um, divvy up some trivia questions to figure out what position people will be in, and based on your trivia score, you'll get to pick the position that you think best suits you. And collectively, everyone will come up with a top 16 list of Luke Skywalkers that hopefully is the right list. Um, Just for the listeners at home, the Lukes that currently exist in our game, uh, so no legacy versions, but the current legal Lukes are Luke Skywalker, Luke, Commander Luke Skywalker, Son of Skywalker, Luke with lightsaber, Master Luke, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout, And the virtual versions of Luke Skywalker, Commander Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout, Luke Skywalker the Emperor's Prize, Luke Skywalker the Rebellion's Hope, Luke Skywalker the Last Jedi, Master Luke, and finally Young Skywalker. All right, cool. So, uh, and and basically, yeah, we the way that we do this. If you've never listened to us before, because this is your because the only way that you consume Star Wars card content is on Twitch or something. Um, we are working with and against each other to create one uh, definitive list. Uh, basically, we're gonna we're gonna do some trivia, and based on the results of that trivia, uh, we'll determine which <clears throat> spots on the list each of us gets to choose. Uh, and then we have our. Uh, our, our sense, we also have senses and alters that we can play. A sense will cancel a, a pick. So if uh, if Dan picks something that uh, that Batmouse doesn't like, um, then Batmouse will will sense will sense it, uh, and then uh, an alter will cancel a sense. However, this is not Star Wars cards, so sense does not cancel sense. And then we have also the first player has what has a defensive shield. In this case, it is he can go about his business, uh, which uh, which basically the uh, when do when do we what's the timing on it? They play it. They play the shield before they choose the the play the shield as you announce the pick as you announce the pick. 
Yeah, and then that pick is immune to sense. Um, and then the last the last little caveat here is that because this is a an expanded draft, a top 16 instead of a top eight, we have polled our listenership and figured out what listeners. Hey, 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 chat. Uh, I probably won't acknowledge the chat too much uh, in this because because we're uh, like um, we're, this is a live stream, but it is recording. But hey, hey, I see that Large Porg and uh, and Dead Body are both in chat. So that's awesome. We've got two viewers. So that, or, or at least two viewers. I don't know how many total. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so the the audience did uh, send our intern, uh, Bren Derlin, uh, their pick for the best Luke, and uh, because uh, we're ranking all of them, uh, they have a sense, uh, and they, and anytime anybody plays a sense in this in this time around, because since everything's eventually going to end up on the list that sense will bump it will bump things up. So if, you know, if the audience uh, voted and they decided that master Luke non V was the, was the best Luke. And then Dan tries to play it at number 16, then the audience will play sense and, uh, and, and bump and bump that up. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully whoever gets that sense, uh, you know, has enough respect in our audience to not alter it, but they do have that option. So, um, uh, or anybody, I guess anybody could alter the sense, not just, uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then, so that's anything else that we need to cover before we talk about trivia. Um, do you want to go over the positioning now or after trivia? Um, sure. We can do, we can do positioning, uh, just because it's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated than normal. Um, okay, except so... for that, yeah, except you do it because I don't have it in front of me. Sure. <laughs> Um, so based on the trivia results, players will get to choose between different positions. Red one will have the choice of they will get the defensive shield Kendall talked about, and they'll also have to select picks 15, 9, 8, and 1. They will get two senses and one altar. Red two will have to pick picks 16, 10, 7, and 2 and also have two senses and one altar. Red three will select 14, 11, six, and three. They will get three senses and one altar. And finally, red four will select positions 13, 12, five, four, have two senses and two altars. And that's based on players' trivia scores. They'll get to select which red squadron uh, assignment they would like and don't worry listeners you don't have to remember any of that <laughs> uh chris will chris will keep track of it i have no idea which picks i have I'll, I'll probably have no idea which picks i have i'm sure that uh i'm sure that other people won't either um so but uh, but um chris will keep us will keep us uh on track and uh yeah I'm, I'm excited to see how this like asynchronous version of the game goes or asymmetrical. Can I just ask, can I just ask yeah. what Carl and I know the listeners of watching the podcast or listening to the podcast will knows, but what are Kendall and Batmouse writing down? Are you guys taking notes on like secret tech or something? I'm just curious. Uh, I'm only looking at how I can win this game because um, I try to win every game. And I win this game um, by causing as much chaos as possible. <laughs> That's because that's that is true. fun for me. That's not true. You're not going to cause chaos. that is 100 percent true. We all know it. Batmouse, Batmouse has a big talk, but uh, everyone has fun when when I just no. Everyone has fun. No. I, have fun. I was writing down what uh, Red Squadron fighter <laughs> I was going to persona five when I get the second pick. All right. So here's, oh, my, here's my question. Oh, 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 oh. Why is there no red five? This is like a trivia contest. Like a this is all about I, I, I mean red five is red five is our trivia advocate. Yeah, I'm red five. I've got the helmet okay. right here though. All right. So anything else before trivia? We good? Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this narrow and quick. Um, so that doesn't loop out of control since we have 16 picks. Um, trivia is going to be a little bit different um, to make it go a little bit faster. 
I have different rounds of questions. This first round, each person gets one question. You either get the point or you don't. We will start with Batmouse since he wore a Luke helmet. <laughs> question one. Which Luke has the lowest combined printed deploy and forfeit value? Lowest combined printed deploy and forfeit value. Is that uh, it's called Premier Luke? So your answer is Luke Skywalker. Sorry. Nope. Two-player Luke. Two player so your Luke. answer is Luke. Yeah. Luke. Okay. That is wrong. Um, nice. Emperor's prize is deploy zero, forfeit zero. But that's uh, printed. That's not printed. It's printed yes, it on is. the card. It's on the seven sides of the, on the card, card. Mouse. Oh, okay. Wow, that's, what? I have to look at two sides of a card now? Yes. <laughs> they're, pro they're both personas of Luke. That's, I was only looking at one side of a card. Well, <laughs> that is why you're wrong. Question two. Um, alphabetically, we will continue with Dan. Luke, strong in the force, is considered one of the best Lukes of all time, but is no longer legal and can't be picked in this game. In order to get him involved in this game, question is, what is his underlying card? The underlying card of Luke, strong in the force. Oh, that's an easy one. That's uh, not your answer. <laughs> Either Jedi's resilience or Jedi concentration. Jedi's concentration. That's correct. Dan gets one point. Uh, continuing alphabetically, it would be Carl. Mm -hmm. Carl, how many tournament legal alternate image Lukes are there? Three. Is that your final answer? Sure. I'm going to go with it. Okay. That is correct. Luke Skywalker, V, Rebellion's Hope, and Last Jedi all have alternate images. And finally, Kendall. All right. What effect begins with the words deploy on Luke? Effect? It begins with the words deploy on Luke. Let me think. Cause I'm thinking, cause I'm thinking like, okay, his bionic hand is, uh, is a, is a device. I think Yoda's backpack is a device. Um, Shoot. I feel like it's oh. Luke's backpack I will is a device. Credit Greg helping with a lot of these questions. Mm -hmm. He did suggest I give you a hint. In honor okay. of that, I will give you a hint. Okay. Uh -huh. It is from a decipher set printed either in Endor or after. Oof. That's okay. a good hint, Chris. Steal. I want to steal. Um... Can we steal? Oh man, that actually Ten makes seconds. it harder. Um, <laughs> well, or, well it doesn't make it harder because oh, I figured it was a, legal. it was a, it was a, it was a Dagobah. I was thinking it was a Dagobah adjacent card. Um, what does Luke even do in all that stuff? Uh, uh, oh man, I I don't even know. I don't even have a guess. Uh, Luke's Luke's uh, jump. It, the correct answer is I'm with you too. Yeah. Oh, okay. old helper effect from Legacy. So after Ooh. round one, Dan and Carl both have a point. Woo! Now we're going to do round table to make this hurry up. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a question. We're going to start alphabetically, go around. You just have to name someone. If you can't answer correctly, you can't answer until the next question. Every correct answer is one point. Ready? Starting with Batmouse. Four Lukes are naturally red or rogue squadron pilots. Name one. Naturally. Uh, red or rogue Luke? squadron pilots. Commander, Commander Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Okay. Uh, Dan? That's correct. Dan? Luke Skywalker. B. That is not correct. Yes, um, yes it is. No, it's not. Carl? Commander Luke Skywalker, B. That is correct. 
Luke Skywalker. Kendall? That is correct. And Batmouse, can you name the last one? Uh, what's it? Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. That is not correct. Carl, can you name the last one? Uh, uh, did, was Luke Skywalker B said? It was. That was okay. So that's not correct. Kendall, can that you name the last one? Uh, Rebellion's Hope. That is correct. So yeah. now, after that question, Batman. I got two one, points. That means Dan two, Carl two, Kendall mm -hmm. two. Oh, we're uh, on. I have one. Chris, I have one. Dan one. Sorry, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, you I'm tied so for first place. This has never I, happened I, before. I was gonna say because Luke Skywalker V is a matching pilot for Red Five because of Red Five's text, not because of Luke's text. Uh, next question: Four Lukes do not have natural immunity to attrition. Name them, starting with Batmouse. Uh, Luke with lightsaber. Correct. Dan. Luke Skywalker V. Correct. Carl. Uh, uh, Emperor's Prize. Correct. Kendall. <laughs> nice. Luke. Correct. Everyone got one point. Woo! Okay. Nice job, people. We're going to go until... Uh, Everyone misses. Name a weapon or a device that has Luke in game text. Batmouse. Luke's backpack. I don't know that if that does. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Are you checking it? I'm checking it. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> it's a. It, it has to have. Luke, Luke backpack in does text. not have in game text. it in game text. Oh, okay. I All forgot right. what the question was. So, Dan. I'm going to go with Luke's bionic hand. That does. Luke's Carl? hunting rifle. Correct. Luke's Kendall? lightsaber. Correct. Dan. I'm going to go with Luke's blaster pistol, non-V. Correct. Carl. Luke's hunting rifle, V. Correct. Kendall. Anakin's lightsaber virtual. Correct. Dan? I'm going to go with Luke's blaster pistol virtual. I'm surprised no one took that when you specified non -V. I know, right? Uh, Carl? It's device or weapon? Weapon or device. Bionic hand. I don't think that does. Come on, Kendall. I know you got the next one. Does not. Kendall? Now I just froze. Um, uh, uh, Obi-Wan's journal. There you go. Okay. Anyone have any others? Nobody, did anybody say Luke's lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> okay. So after that round, I have Batmouse has three... Dan has five, Carl has five, Kendall has six. Damn! Uh, what? That's mm -hmm. never no happened Kendall. ever. It's uh, because you have Chris Kelly on. <laughs> we're, we're flying through these questions, though. All right, this yes, question is all about Luke, the two-player version. Ooh. Uh -oh. Four separate questions about that particular card. Oh, my. Batmouse. What is Luke's power and forfeit? I'm sorry, power and ability. Power and ability. Five seconds. Oh, you're muted. I was muted. Yeah, oh. sorry. Two, three. Two, Correct. Three. There you Bat go. Mouse gets a point. Dan, what is Luke's deploy and forfeit? Four, four. Correct. Carl, what skills does Luke have? Uh, Can you clarify skill really quick? As I say, the deploy restriction or... No, no, the, 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 the decipher the attributes, like on the side, oh. on the right-hand side. Oh, uh, icons. oh uh, warrior. Anything else? I don't think that one's a pilot. Warrior's the only thing I can think of. I don't think he's a pilot. Final answer? Yeah. Correct. And e. last question, Kendall, 
what are that Luke's deployment restrictions? Um, so he deploys only to Tatooine, but may move elsewhere. <laughs> um, and, um, and he, he may not be deployed if two or more of your opponent's unique characters on table. That's great. Great job by everyone. We studied our Luke's, Chris. Yeah. Just for you. So, I, I didn't study anything. I, you never study. You're just like naturally gifted, Bat Mouse. If you asked me 364 days out of the year, Luke's deployment restrictions, I would not have remembered that he only deploys to Tatooine. Uh, so uh, I, I got lucky. It was there. part of my notes. So we're <laughs> keeping it tight. Kendall is up by one. Carl and Dan are tied, and Batmouse is one behind them. So, independent questions again. Batmouse, tell me every full slip or C slip of Luke that has a lore. Oh, God. Full slip or C slip of Luke that has a lore. So, a PC version of Luke that has lore. Man, um... Master Luke. No, no, it, no, not oh. not a half slip, a full slip or a, or a C slip. Something that has a new Luke title that has a lore, something written uh, in the lore young, box. Young Skywalker. I think that the only that has the lore box. Oh, uh, the Emperor's Prize, Luke, as well. Final probably. answer. Final answer. Those two. Yeah, sure. That's correct. Yep. Almost uh, got you, Dan. Tell me the valid targets of Luke's hunting rifle V. In other words, not who it deploys upon, but who it can fire at. Targets a character or a creature. Are there any other special targets for it? I just played this at Endor. That's why you're you're punishing me. <laughs> uh, he already punished you while he was there. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> Five uh, seconds. I'm going to go with Jawa or Undercover Spy. That's correct. During the move phase, you can also target yeah. a Jawa or Undercover Spy. Fortunately, I didn't get to do that. Nobody played any Jawas. Oh, Carl, I'm glad you get this question. Like My Father Before Me is a very cool card that shows how Luke is a virgence in the light side of the Force. Because mm -hmm. it lets you get more Force by putting a card from your hand on your Force pile. Name me another character card of Luke that lets you get extra Force. Oh. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Character card in Luke that lets you get extra. Uh, the Last Jedi. That's correct. Also, Luke Skywalker from Premiere. Yep. Uh, and Kendall. Luke Skywalker appears in the lore of eleven characters. <laughs> <laughs> name name three of them. Okay. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, Boshek. Is that correct? <laughs> Do you want to guess your three or? or well, I, I I mean, if I get one wrong, then then I'm out, right? Is that a final guess? That is a final. That is a fi that is the one that I'm sure of. Okay. Uh, that is wrong. It's wrong. At least according, yeah. to, <laughs> at least according yeah. to Scomp Link, let me just verify. That is that is the. Right, says not, Chewbacca. Yeah, that is wrong. It. Okay. It says Obi Wan. It says um, Obi Wan. Okay. So, R two from Jabba's Palace, Beru Lars, Darth Vader, Dark Lord of Sith, both versions of Mara Jade, Obi Wan mm -hmm. Kenobi, Owen Lars, Owen Lars and Beru Lars, Ururur, Son of Skywalker, and Young Skywalker. Who I'm surprised you didn't. I almost get said this. Son of Skywalker. 
Oh yeah, and, and yeah, because Young of... Skywalker, you picked mm-hmm. the, the lore for. <laughs> <laughs> so, last question, oh, and I this will it. break a tie between Dan and Kendall and Carl, for that matter. So this is actually a very oh, good man. question. Oh man! Oh man! I was yeah. even ahead, and I got that. Oh. Ugh. You did have the hardest question that round, though. No, you oh, had only had to name three of them. Come on. All right. I should so. have known. I should have known the son of Skywalker because when I was a kid, everybody thought that he was son of Luke Skywalker, and then I read the lore, and it was no, but it's actually Luke Skywalker. I, I should have. Kn- I should have known. Yeah, I should have at least known those two, and then gotten you know random guess. But I don't know. Okay. Could so have been for this Bo-Shek. question. I just want a numerical answer if someone and whoever gets the highest number has to justify it, okay so just give me a numerical answer and then whoever the highest number is you'll justify it ready luke is alone at a site with no cards deployed on him what is the highest power you can get him to be everyone take 25 30 seconds to think so you're which Luke? Any Luke that you want. Any legal Luke that you want is at a site alone. What's the highest power you can get him to be? And this is this is playing. You're, so you're so so we're not deploying. We are deploying cards on him. We're not deploying cards on him. He cannot have any cards have deployed any on him. On him. Okay. He's, Alone at a site with no cards deployed on him. Okay, and we want his end of it. We want to be in. We want to increase his his personal, his personal power. power. His, yep. Okay, and then um, and we can play interrupts. Absolutely, you can play whatever you want to do. You can pick whatever site you want. You can you can pick anything else. Just Luke by himself, no cards on him. I have no chance here. Pick a number. <laughs> Because I can't even remember the name of the site. <laughs> I'll give you a number. Well, I'll give. I'll come up with a number, but I, man, what cards? Add, do, do any cards add to power in the whole game? God, math is hard. You have to right. I'll, I'll give everyone about 10 more seconds just to think of stuff. <laughs> and remember, you're going to have to justify your answer if you are the highest. Okay, Batmouse, what's your number? Wait, I'm in this one too? I thought that was just a tiebreaker. Everyone, everyone. Damn. Oh, um... Uh, let's go with 28. Okay. Dan, what's your number? Twenty-two. Twenty-two? Yeah. Two two. Okay. Carl, what's your number? Fifteen. And Kendall, what's your number? Thirteen. And I'm pushing. Okay, so Batmouse with 28, justify your answer, and you win. Oh, I was just making up one. Wow. No, um, 20 and 28, uh, I can play. Luke has nothing on him, but I can play card to the site? Correct. No, no, he's alone. He's alone. He can play cards, but he has to to remain alone. Then I can't get to 22. Okay. 28. Dan, how do you get to 22? So you get to 22 because you do the interrupt that uh, will add his ability to his power. Uh, you play Run Luke Run, and then you play the Helper effect on. I want to say it's hard to add four. What Helper effect? What? Um, it's the uh, Helper effect from Endor. It's the. It's, I think it's I'm with you too. That needs like a bunch of other cards to be on table. And but they don't have to be there, though. They you said they, also no, they it's an be, effect. They you said you said yeah. he couldn't, oh. we couldn't deploy cards yeah. on him. Yeah. So uh, so that answer is wrong. Uh, Carl, what you got? Justify your fifteen. 
Oh, I made the assumption I could deploy a card on Luke, but uh, I was saying uh, Luke Rebellion Hope, you put a blaster on him, so he adds, no. a, uh, he adds a Destiny to Power, and I've tracked a 7, and I'm playing Obi Communing, so I can add 5, so that got me to uh, 15. About that. that was the answer. Thank God. Oh, damn it. Um, Wait, so so does that mean I get get it? I mean, if I can so justify my 13. You have to justify your 13. Yeah, you have to justify your 13. So, and Carl, that wouldn't work anyway because you can't deploy the blaster on him. But also, yeah. that adds to total power, not Luke's power. Yeah. So, Kendall, can you justify okay. your 13? So, Master oh, Luke Master Luke is power 6. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Okay. I can do it now. Because Run Luke okay. Run gives him plus, plus 2 to power, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Master Luke is power six. You run Luke run to make him plus two, and then you uh, you Obi Muning uh, to make him five more to take him to thirteen. That's eleven. That oh, no. would be correct. But how is Luke going to be alone to run Luke yeah. run? Yeah, that's the issue. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. in that case, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, never mind. I don't know. I don't know how to add two more to power. Okay. Um, we I'm all are give, bad at this. I'm going to give Kendall the point because that is technically the correct answer. Um, I don't know that this is the highest, but I was able to get to 48. Um, you have Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, who yes. run Luke's run into a battle at the same site as Obi-Wan, Darth Sidious, Maul, du and Count Dooku. After Count Owen Jedi and Brew have died, you play yeah. Courage of a Skywalker, you Jedi presence him, Obi Wan gets snipered, and then Luke's power forty six, and then the sight text kicks in to make a power plus two to forty eight. Which sight did you say? The chasm walkway. If Luke's so, alone, he gets power plus two. Then, but well, that I was, was what I was like trying to think of the chasm walkway, I think you and can I couldn't get remember. Higher with Obi communing. Um, you can't. Uh, you. Might be able to Master no. Luke, same no. situation. Yeah. Master Luke would only add five in that situation, whereas Rebel Scout, you're adding six because of the three Dark Jedi that get doubled. So Kendall's going to. Obi, Obi couldn't be on table for that scenario right. to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so Kendall is going to win trivia. Ah! Congratulations, Woo! Kendall. I'm player A. I'm player A. Ba <laughs> Batmouse will be fourth. And then we have a tie between Dan and Carl. So the best way to settle this tie is starting. Dance we'll off. go Dance with Carillion we'll League runner. Dan, okay. name me a Luke that is not Destiny One. Ready? Go. Luke Dan. Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Carl, son of Skywalker. Bzz. He is Destiny One. Yes. Um, there was also Young Skywalker okay. and Emperor's and Luke Pride. the Last Jedi and, and Luke yeah, Last Jedi. Jedi. Um, mm. Okay, so Dan's gonna win that tiebreaker. So man, how Kendall cool gets would first that pick. been if Son of Skywalker was like a Destiny Three? That would have been. If so I was cool. on Decipher's design team, he wouldn't be one. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, like it feels weird for him to be a one. How cool so, would it would have been if this had been a dance off? <laughs> Okay, so Kendall, you have first option. Would you like to be Red 1, who has the shield? Red 2, who picks the second position? Red I'm, 3, who has the extra sense? Or Red 4, who has the extra altar? I'm, I'm Red. I'm, I'm, going for, I'm going for Red Leader. Red Leader is Kendall. Next choice goes to Dan. So I'm going to go about my business. So two gets nothing extra, three gets the sense, and four gets the altar? That's correct, but okay. two, however, has pick for number two. Pick two has the – they have pick two? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, pick, uh, so, yeah, number, okay. yeah player we... two has the best spread. That's why they get the fewest uh, bonuses. You know what? I'll be your Wedge Antilles. <laughs> okay, so that is Dan. Shall be red too. Oh, can we change our name so our red like? Let's do that. <laughs> Turn my name. And Carl, would you like to be red three or red four? 
I feel like I can't be red three because I can't grow a mustache and I can't be bigs, but um, I'll be red four. All right, and that leaves Batmouse as red three. So you guys all Who's red know... four in the game? I don't know. That's what I was trying to look up earlier. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm like, yeah. Ah. Doug, what's Doug Taylor's red four? That's a good answer. So, with slot number 16, we're, we're going to start this game? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Slot 16 goes to pick for red two, which is Dan. Who just who is up and walked away. the 16th best Luke. <laughs> okay, That's he's how coming it back. He he's just getting a beer. That's how it said he was. You're up, you're up first, Dan. Red, red for his hobby. Red squadron for his hobby. So, Dan, who is the 16th best Luke? You're, you're muted. muted. So, okay, sorry. Uh, for pick number 16, I'm going to go with Luke. Two-player premiere, Luke. Okay. Would anyone Again, like just? We're going to move this along. I don't think that needs much justification. Anyone have any senses or anything? No, I nope. Just... That that is the correct answer. I just want to say. I just want to say that I I I agree. I totally agree. But uh, that uh, it's it's really a sh- Like it's really a shame. I can't I wait for design. I'm sure. I'm sure that there's a million ideas for that. Uh, I liked. I liked the idea. At least the concept in in Legacy of having like a a little baby. Yeah. Loop. Um, I mean, we have a, a Vader V. Yeah. yeah Why yeah, don't we yeah. bring back the old "I'm going to pilot my T16 Sco Hopper Luke from Legacy" that was just fun? So we did have one in design that was um, ability four, but added one to Diplo, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, ultimately, we thought it was probably good, but Diplo was super good at the time, so maybe that'll come back. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I this like is the fun design the space. space. With slot, it is really fun. I, I feel like him working with Diplo would be very thematic too. Yeah, um, um, that's the, that's the who's keeping that tabs on the list, by the way. I am. I got it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's so his, slot sixteen. That's Chris's is job. Luke. Easiest that's easiest job. pick out there. Uh, so now on to fifteen, which is red one, and that is Kendall. So what's uh, remind me what are my what are my four slots? Your slots are fifteen, nine, eight, and one. Okay. So you will so, not get a pick again until nine. Yeah, yeah. So I don't get a pick for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and select my number 14. It's on, on my list. Uh, and I am going to play. I'm going to play my defensive shield. Okay. I'm going to wow. play. He can go about his business. This is my one spicy take. It's the reason that I chose... Uh, that I chose uh, the the slot number one so that I could go about my business and stick the character that I wrote a song about how much I hate it. <laughs> it's, it's one of the, oh. one of the, one of the, what, what I think, what I, what I think is my, I like it's up there, you know, up there with Leia rebel princess master Luke virtual oh. is number 15. He, I just, I really, I really don't. I mean, even, even toned, even toned down. I still just, he's a, he's, you know, he's, he, uh, what it comes down to is he, he's a, he's a made, he's a huge boost, uh, to the, to the, uh, you know, to the, to the scum matchup for mains decks that are already strong in the, the scum matchup. And, uh, and, and that, and, and the, the, you have to have the character if he's alone having to have the character ability above four it it just I don't know it just kind of does everything that I don't want stuff to do so uh in resetting the destiny awkward yeah yeah so there we go went about my business said my piece okay you guys um, can is there any point in continuing this now that Kendall has made this list a mockery <laughs> <laughs> I want to quit and protest hey at least it wasn't Batmouse for me this time. I, I, this is my only is my only say, spicy I pick. It. I didn't do it. I know. It's my only right, spicy pick. I promise. Can we sense alter we, anything? This 
we it nope. cannot. We do want to move things along, but that was such a terrible pick. If you guys want to yeah. um, complain about it yeah, for a little yeah. bit, you, you can. You may. can do your dissenting de- dissenting opinions. <laughs> I, 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 there, there is a Luke on this list that is a light side player you can do absolutely nothing with. Yeah. Like, yeah. like there are so many. I mean, okay, Luke is already on 16. Like, I put that down mm-hmm. there as 16. Because right. at least, like, Luke's uh, Emperor's Prize helps the dark side player a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a dark side card and everything, but it makes it so you don't automatically lose light decks like Wap. This is just... Kendall, I, I get it. You don't like the card, but I, I mean, it was in my top four consideration. It was my top four. It yeah. was in my top four. Batman, where was it for you? I know you're a chaos and you're loving this. No, I am absolutely loving this. I know. I, um, I, I promise. I, I promise. This is my only. I'm. This is my only spicy pick. Oh no! But I. But this is. You, you know, know what? Can, can we just like put Kendall in Kendall it's literally, jail now? Like, if you ask me, if you ask me for my my two least favorite cards in the game, they're Leia, Rebel Princess, and Master Luke B. So. And this is what you all get for being bad at trivia. Good job, Kendall. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you. yeah. I mean, I I, I won trivia. Yeah. I don't. I have. I I gave up. I gave up an extra cent. You know, the potential for an extra sense. I, I get Spoils one. I, get, war, I only get three. I really only get three picks here because number one will be will be you know a foregone conclusion by that point. So, bro. Okay, Spoils so war, I'm, I'm spending all of my goodwill on this pick. Okay, Chris, okay. I want to hear your. I'll I'll give my list at the end. Um, no, I want to see like time. what your response is to. to yeah, 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 we need to get going. Yeah, yeah, we need to get um, going. yeah. Let's move it along. Um, so number fourteen. Uh, is a pick by Red Three, which is Batmouse. I don't care, Batmouse. Uh, you can do what you want. <laughs> oh no, I I mean I I there's so many Luke's on here. There's so many. I don't really like Luke Skywalker the Last Jedi. Let's do Luke Skywalker the Last Jedi at fourteen. <sighs> Sense. Okay, Thank so we me. have Last Jedi that Carl senses. So when does the, the the does anyone have an alter to Carl's sense? Nope. Kendall should alter this because it's no, be funny. no. I I like Last Jedi a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Where does the so... um the audience come into play? That's what I was saying. If, if um so well, the yeah, audience so the audience voted on on one uh, on on one Luke. If anybody picks yeah. that Luke before pick number one, oh. the audience will use that sense to to try to bump it up. Okay. Okay. Um. So, Batmouse, that's. Do you want to use your altar? No, I'm just gonna let it be sensed. Okay. So we're gonna need another pick. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna put Luke Skywalker, the Rebellion's Hope here. Because uh, being able to just blow out, you know, dark side space because you just get to add a Desmond to attrition for no reason. That makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. And, and you go on a fully immune ship, you get to add a Destiny of power or attrition. I like different Luke's in space, but that is, I do not like that Luke in space. Okay, so who's going to use their sense on that pick? I only had him a did few I, picks higher. I don't like. I don't really like Rebellion's did, Hope. Did I pick the one that got an extra sense or an extra altar? I need to know. You what, have like, you have an extra altar. So right now you have one sense and two altars. Yeah, and Batmouse has three senses with one altar. I'm surprised that Batmouse picked that because I feel like he... and you no 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 Carl. I was trying to be thematic with the mustache. Does, I should have paid attention to does the Does anyone to the list. want to sense Batmouse's terrible pick? Chris. Mm-hmm. Chris, I'll help you out, buddy. I'm going to sense it. Ooh, you're not helping me. You're helping the community and the legitimacy of this show. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Rebellion's Hope, thankfully, also gets sensed. Uh, Batmouse, what what do you want to do now? <laughs> well, you guys just aren't letting Name me Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. No, 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 don't, no, don't, don't do, don't, it. no, come on, come on. You got, got to play in good faith, but yeah. Faith. No, I know, I know, but don't pick. Don't. I would say, I would say, come we're on, not like, like to how Jedi many Luke. Luke's that are like non. Is my favorite Luke is a virtual. Okay. Same. Oh, you, you and me we, are probably going to agree on our topic. You guys, you guys, oh, we just, we just lost, time. we just that, lost yeah, the audio for out. a second. Okay. Sorry. Oh, well, I guess it's just cut off Dan, so it's fine. 
We lost audio for a second, um, but it was just Dan ranting. It's fine. Batmouse, what's your pick? Okay. okay. Uh, Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, Virtual. <clears throat> virtual? I like Luke um, Skywalker, Rebel Scout, yeah. Virtual. Okay, so on, Kendall. good news. The audience is going to save us on that one. Uh, oh, man. That was the audience's number one pick. Oh, wow. And properly so. Uh, so ja. So the nice thing is, the nice thing is, Batmouse has 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 he's I running out of of right. bad of wrong choices. <laughs> no, oh, he never does. He's Batmouse. <laughs> so this we're is going, what he does. We're going to again ask Batmouse for a pick. Fine. Uh, I will do Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, non-virtual. Then okay. Okay. No one would dare sense that in case something worse happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I just, I, I mean, it was, it was a great that. card. It was a great card, but like having another Jedi Luke, um, there, are, there are better Lukes for me to pick, uh, that, that are, should go on this list. Um, and we'll go further up this list. Yeah. Uh, but Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, non-virtual, uh, um, can... is just not as good as his, as his virtual version. Okay. Sound logic. Now, Carl, your pick. Uh, At 13. so... I will just go ahead and get the next one that should have been <laughs> pick 15, Emperor's Prize. There you go. Thank you. Just get that out of the way. Kind of want to sense that, but no. Sense. I have three altars. All right. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I'm not going to. No. But I, 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 I just, I just want to say I kind of like Emperor's Prize. Like I think no, it's it gets, a, good no, it it a lot of kit, a lot of hate. Needed. It's absolutely yeah. needed. But in terms of text gameplay how often it, it is situationally good in like two scenarios. So uh, I built this list on playability, yeah, yeah. how it just it was the 15th. Okay, Damn. so that's locked in at 13th, just background. Emperor's Prize probably came out at the perfect time because I think if it was any other specific members of D&D on the team, that card would not have passed, uh, but it was in the right place for time and, and did, did go on. Uh, know so who, now, uh, whose idea it was? Uh, I'm not gonna do that to people. Um, <laughs> nope, we're gonna pass. So, so pick number twelve goes to Red Four again, which is Carl. So, the next one I had on my list as I was ranking them is uh, Commander Luke Skywalker. Anyone Great. have any problems with that? Non-virtual, I have no problem with going down there. Yeah, yeah he's, no, he's about that, there on my list as well. He was 14 for me. Yeah. Okay, solid work, guys. Uh, quickly now, we're moving on to 11 with Red 3, and I'm terrified to see what Batman has. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of the list. He can't screw it up. Uh, yeah, he can. Yes, he can. Sound accepted. Have you met Jesus. Jesus. Kendall, come on. No, I'm I'm uh, feeling Luke, good. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm closer I'm to the, go on the same page as Batman. House, so. <laughs> what I I couldn't hear I couldn't hear you. Oh, uh, Luke with lightsaber. He's very cool, but he has no immunity, and I like my I like my thing that costs a lot of money to have immunity. Um. Anyone? What what number is this? Eleven. This is an eight dollar card. This is eleven. You, you're making we should Garrett we should cry. Go, let's Going. do a do a because i don't want to okay. use the sense right. but do so, it do it in order like abbas declare it in order yeah. and okay. i'd say so, like they, uh so red three is the pick so red four are you using a sense we've only got one left gonna gonna have to rely on my teammates here okay <laughs> so back to red one which is kendall you using a sense yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll sense it. Okay. Thank you. No. Kendall, I could not have loved you more for that sense. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Luke's, Luke's, Luke, Luke with lightsaber is is uh, is is in 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 a world where in a world where there's been twenty years of power creep, the fact that Luke lightsaber Luke with lightsaber is probably still the most versatile non Jedi Luke, and um and also just uh like i don't know he's so good 
and he and he and I love the I love EPPs. Um, yeah, he's the most virtual non non Jedi Luke, but also doesn't feel like and nobody would say he's broken. Like I mean, maybe when it when they maybe when they were released, the the Luke with lightsaber and Vader with lightsaber were overpowered, but nobody would say like the issue with you know the issue with uh, you know with rebellion when when Batman's put Rebellion's hope lower, and uh, when I put uh, Master Luke, it's you know like maybe they have raw power, but I don't like but they're not designed well or they're not. Uh, or they're, you know, it's not, not a, you know, it's not a card that should exist. You know, when you have those, those like, but, but Luke with lightsaber is just like perfectly balanced. Yeah. I would put it much okay. higher on the list. All right. Bat mouse. Are you going to use an altar? Uh, I will not. Anyone going to alter it? Okay. No, so all that, all that pick is defeated and bat mouse looking for another number 11. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, commander Luke Skywalker V. Okay. Uh, so that would go red <laughs> for Carl using a sense. No, love it. It should be low on the list. Kendall sense. I, I mean, yeah, it should be. I mean, I have some cards that you would disagree with me on lower on the list, but yeah. Commander Luke Skywalker is, uh, I think it's Lenny's Lenny's least favorite card in the game. Um, draw two battle destiny. If unable to otherwise is like, is stupid is, is annoying um it's yeah, no I, I, it's, I, I love it i love it generally but um but losing to it uh, at endor made me very mad. Also, <laughs> also we're getting to the point where we're getting to the point where every where every card these are all luke's so we're we're mm -hmm. we've gotten the stinkers out of the way um no, we haven't There's still so one. i think i think pretty yeah. much everything else the top 10 luke's okay. are all going to be iconic cards. so everyone's uh, yeah. good with commander luke Vader. yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So locked in at number eleven is Bat Mouse's pick of Commander Luke Skywalker Virtual. And right. next pick is now we're in the top ten, as Kendall said, mm -hmm. and that pick belongs to Red Two, which is Dan. Okay. So can I get a rundown of what Luke's are gone? Really Absolutely. Quick? Yep. So we'll, Thank we'll you. recap sixteen through eleven in order is Luke, Master Luke. V I can't say that. Uh, <laughs> Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, Emperor's Prize, Commander Luke, and Commander Luke V. Okay. I like this list. Hate this list. Mm. <laughs> Love it. I guess that's why it's called Zombie with Corrin and Batmouse, because Corrin and Batmouse like the list. This is great. This uh, is so, like... Dan, we're going to need a pick at number 10. So... I'm going to play as fair as I can, and I'm going to go with a Luke that Kendall might agree with, considering he put the virtual one so far down low on his list. I'm going to go with Master Luke. Any objections? I think I'm good. Um, I, I, like, I, 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 I love it. Master Luke's design. Um... I think it's 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 a little bit unfortunate. Like it's it's a very like uh, flavorful design that doesn't necessarily like. I don't know that he has in any format. I don't know that he has like a home play uh, playability wise. But I really like his design, so I like him at at ten. So he's in the top ten, uh, but we do not grant him the rank of master. Sounds like a thing. Not okay. even a Jedi. Not yeah. even a Jedi. Yeah, I just I really like it. Yeah, it yeah, it's like he's like one of my favorite like if we were just if we were just like looking at like design philosophy and like best designed cards like very specific criteria, um he could be he could be at the top of the list of like one of my all-time favorite cards. Okay, so locked in at number 10 is Master Luke. Now, on to number 9 with Kendall and I'll remind you that you have picks 9 and 8 back to back. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Um so let's see. So, yeah, uh, Kendall, uh, just so you're for your frame of reference, Luke Skywalker V, Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout V, Luke Jedi Knight, Young Skywalker, Luke Skywalker Rebellion's Hope, Luke with lightsaber, Luke Skywalker the Last Jedi. And Luke Skywalker are all left. Okay. And Son of Skywalker. And Son of Skywalker. Hmm. Hint. 
So I've got the I've got like the Batmouse feeling of the like I want to pick one of my favorites just so I can talk about it. Um, but I think I'm not gonna do that. So okay, so I have one in my bottom in my bottom six that hasn't been mentioned, but I kind of think that maybe I have it undervalued. Uh, the one that is like right one two three four five six seven eight nine is actually my number nine um and you guys didn't agree with it earlier uh luke skywalker rebellion's hope um okay i just i don't know there's just some like it's 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 right first of all we're in the top now we're in the top 10 so every single card should be you know should be good um he just doesn't I think Rebellion's Hope just doesn't excite me as much as basically any of the other any of the other Luke's. Um and and yeah, and Batmouse is right. Like sometimes you just end up in one of those, you know, he's full he's fully immune and he's in space. And you have to play the Destiny one red five because you're boring. You don't so you don't even get to play the fun red five and you don't get to play the fun space Luke. Like it just I don't know. Yeah, it just kind of, but I don't want to be negative on it because it's also, it's also it's very powerful hard. and it's also interesting that the PC design was able to design somebody that was that robust that was a and a New Hope version of Luke. So I don't want to be. I we're at the point where we do, I, if we're not careful, we're we're every single since every single pick with a list like this is the thing that we think is the worst every of the, of what is left. Like we'll, we'll, we're, we're, you know, we're tending to be a little negative. I don't want to be, ne I don't want to be too negative on him. Um, but I, he just doesn't, um, compared with like, we're, we're, we're looking at some of the best cards, the most iconic cards in the game now. Um, and he just doesn't meet that criteria for me. Okay. Just want to give a shout out to, uh, Kurt and Andrew Moss, who are the player card designers of that card. Mm -hmm. Um, when is actually on design now and that is a great card does yes, anyone does. want to sense it so that it moves up i'm gonna I, pass when does the cool guy i want to save one of my senses when when is the cool know. guy i don't i don't want to i don't want to be talk, again i don't want to be negative on it it is a no really, no i think it is a talking, really neat card. card i just yeah. i just think that we're we're at that point in the list where everything we're you know we're going to be killing our children for the rest I can of this see Carl, show. you're getting a like your temple is just throbbing right now. Because like I think we forget how good that card is in Rescue the Princess V and being a trooper and it, it's not just in space. So I think that it is more versatile and useful than other Luke's we have not mentioned. I, I like, will also remind you that, that I have picked even one that isn't even played in the deck where you do Jedi testing. Spoiler. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a great point, oh. Carl. But if we'll I do use my last sense, I then have like no we'll help to Batman. save us from Batmouse, who's going to put LSJK at his next pick, uh, or Batman Rebel Scout. Doesn't, Batmouse doesn't pick for. That's a while. very I funny that you say LSJK at his next pick because I just looked at where know, LSJK is on my list. Yeah, that's th yeah. this is what scares me, <laughs> and so and I love screw it. You know what? I'm going to use my sense. Okay. Oh. I'm going to alter it. Alter it. All right. Oh man, now I gotta keep up. With oh, I all forgot this. that okay. alters exist. So, yeah. So yeah, you can't sense an alter. Carl, no, you can sense. Is you sense can sense an alter. You can sense an alter if you want to sense it. Yeah, you just can't sense a oh, sense. Oh no, no, I've wasted Nine. my senses on two stupid picks. You have so. two alters and though, Carl. I can't alter an alter. Bat Mouse has <sighs> used his alter on Carl's sense. Of rebellions, hope. You are okay. Bat, Bat Mouse, you and I are on the sense, same page here. Does anyone want to Go. sense Bat Mouse's altar? And I'm looking towards Dan because he seems like the I only can't. one. I can't. I have. To, I want. I want to save us from the tyranny that is the Bat Mouse. We're three. Okay. Senses. Number nine is not a Who bad place for senses. this. I had it so number six. Then it oh, no, no, looks I had it number seven. Like, Sorry. Unless someone's going to. Nope. Sense the altar. This <laughs> will stick at number nine. Luke's Rebellion's Hope. This is top Five, eight ten. with Batmouse and Batmouse. <laughs> and okay. now we will actually enter the top eight going back to Kendall. Okay. Well, since you guys are so mad at me, 
I'm not doing it. Do it. Do it. Do what you want, Kendall. No, 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 no. Do um. It. Well, it's like it's like I can either pick, but then that makes it even higher. No, okay. I think this is fine. So, so technically, technically, I'm uh I'm bumping a couple guys up that uh. No, I don't know. Technically, Son of Skywalker is a few is a few. Oh, I said it. Son of Skywalker is a few point is a few is my number is my number five. But looking at my list, I'm a, I'm kind of OK with it being a little lower. And okay. uh, and I want Carl. To, and this is my Christmas present to Carl. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Son of Skywalker was the first chase Star Wars card for me, period. Um, mm-hmm. He was he was this he was, you know, third grade this mysterious uh you know this 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 mysterious card that we all thought was son of luke skywalker like i said earlier um and uh and the 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 fifth grader that was at my babysitter he went to the guard tower and he stole five packs of dagobah and he opened a son of skywalker in there and then his parents found out and confiscated his cards um but uh yeah son of skywalker is is super super special place in my heart one of the best images in the game um yeah pulls his lightsaber if he didn't if he wasn't deploy restricted to to cloud city and dagobah then uh then he would be he would probably still see play and you could probably if you really wanted to play him in a in a cloud city centric deck now i think the fact that you don't play him in uh when you're jedi testing is a is not a problem with him it's a problem with like the with with the way that the game the way that the game you know evolved over time, um, uh, but but he's still great and he, and there still is just like Luke there's an opportunity for design to make a really cool virtual version of him, um, and that potential even you know so but I but you know you guys are right he's his playability is limited. Um, he's not quite as iconic as, uh, as some of the other, as some of the other cards, uh, depending on your look, but he was, you know, he's, he's a, he's got a very special place in my heart. I'm glad I got to talk about him. See you guys at number one. Alter. Uh, okay. <laughs> going, going fast, going fast. <laughs> so Bat Mouse senses Kendall's pick. A son of Skywalker. At number eight. To which Carl immediately and appropriately alters. Is anyone going to sense Carl's alter? No. Oh, so no. looks like that will stick at number eight. And now on to number seven, red two. Dan, take it away. Can I can I get uh, a quick uh uh how many down. senses and alters do we do people Absolutely. have? Absolutely. So starting with red one, that's Kendall. You have one sense and one altar. Red two, Dan, also one sense, one altar. Bat mouse, uh, you have two senses. Um, <laughs> and red four, Carl has one altar remaining. For those listening at home, I apologize. I thought my pick had the multiple senses so i screwed this <laughs> list up i take full responsibility the list is great this uh, list is great like what are you guys once we get to the top you guys it's gonna be great <sighs> it's gonna be great Trust so me. so number seven with dan uh got? so because this list list is completely off the rails at this point um i'm gonna go with actually a, a luke that i probably play the least and that is Luke's, uh, and that is not a virtual card. It's going to be Luke Skywalker, The Last Jedi. Okay. Anyone... Now, I would, pl- I would play it more only so I could play the Chris Kelly as Luke Skywalker, The Last Jedi. But I don't play Legend. I don't play Hume C, which sees him sometimes in it. So, yeah. Anyone have any senses to uh... cancel that? The thing is, there's so many. I, I do, but I won't. I feel like there's so many right picks and so many wrong, and, and not very many wrong picks at this point. Um, that that is a wrong pick. I'll I'll go ahead and use my last sense. 
<laughs> you had me in the beginning there, Kendall, and then you totally changed it. Not gonna okay. lie, I had him in the. Well, I'm just saying, like, like he could pick okay, any so... of the other six Lukes, and they would be a better pick there. Like, I, I, I would, I, I, I don't know that. Well, not maybe not any of them, but I, I don't. Okay. So... I could, I could be convinced that Luke Scott, that the Last Jedi is number one before I could be convinced that he's number seven. So. So that's a sense. Anyone want to alter Kendall's sense? Dan could alter that. I know I could. Carl, are you going to alter it? Uh, no, I on, agree wait, with it. It goes in order. It would be Kendall is red one. So next would be Dan. Dan, do you want to alter it? And I have the only other senses left. No, this, that's fine. Okay. That is so fine. Bat mouse. Alter. I, I don't have. I no. Know. Okay. And then Carl. It, okay. All good. So that gets sensed. What's your next pick? I don't want to break Chris Kelly's heart. <laughs> I feel like there's an obvious choice here, but. Yeah, mm-hmm. there is. There really is. There is. And I know it is, but I mean, I okay, fine. I'll go with it. It's going to be Luke Skywalker. OG premier non virtual okay. Luke Skywalker. Uh, honestly, I had him at right below The Last Jedi or right above. Uh, only reason is because of the image. It is such an iconic card. Iconic image. Iconic. It's such a great card. I mean, I'm sorry. Like getting to pull that foil from a pack and seeing it in like the, one of the first foils I ever got. There's nothing better than that. Like it's a great card. I, I I don't get me wrong. Like I love the PC's image for Luke Skywalker V, but I still want to use the farm boy Luke just because. Yeah. Anyone have any uh any right sense wars on that? No. Nope. I'm totally on board. And and I mean the fact that the fact that the that the the random Luke that hasn't seen competitive play since the virtual version was was made like you basically in open you would not you would not play the fact that it got this high on the list speaks to how iconic it is it's yeah you're right it's such a great image it's it's from you know it's from the that original that original set and it it's got that it's got that premiere like something special about this because it's always been there feel to it i love the card but yeah yeah seven sounds right Yes. Okay. So number pick six is going to go to number three, red three, Batmouse. Pick six. Uh, man. There are no I wrong answers at this point. Yeah, there's, like, at this point, it's getting down to the nitty gritty. No, yeah, I need everything's to take the regular great. Luke Skywalker off my list. Okay. Um, I'm going to put uh, Luke with lightsaber here at six. Um,. I, I just think that I like the other five <laughs> yeah. this Luke. Um, and the virtual Luke that I want at the top of the list is still uh, is still there. So I'm going to pick the Luke with lightsaber to fill the spot six. Okay, so Carl, you cannot Can sense. Uh, Kendall, you cannot sense. Cannot sense. And Daniel, you may yes. sense if you yes. wish. Pass. Okay, so I'm EPP, not Luke, the bat mouse. EPP Luke is on the list at number six, and I'll be honest, that's not a bad spot for him. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. Um, about... So number five was going to go to Carl, and I'll mm-hmm. remind you, Carl, you have both five and four. Yep. Um, Master Luke should be the should be a consideration here, but you know it's <laughs> much further down the list. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And back to Kendall's point about uh, it's great that Luke Skywalker non V uh, got on higher due to imagery and whatnot. But um, I want to take a minute and just give a shout out to the image on this um, young Skywalker, I think is an amazing card, has a beautiful image in the fact, and this isn't a shout out to Kendall, the lore on it, taking it from projection of Skywalker. It's just, it's perfect. And it is provides great synergy with the Jedi's Fury. I think 
putting a putting a card uh, in the top five. There's nothing bad that can be said about it. Young Skywalker is my number and, five. For the record, for the record, just just and, and he's in the chat. It was Chad's idea uh, to have projection mm-hmm. as the backing card. Oh, yeah. I just yelled. Yeah. I just yelled louder than him because um, I thought it was the best idea <laughs> anybody has had in all of Star Wars cards. <laughs> um, like this. This is this is no. Mm-hmm. It's up there, but yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> Making virtual cards is probably the best. <laughs> so that leaves with Batmouse being able to sense and Dan being able to sense. Well, it goes to oh, Batmouse uh, first. So Carl was four, so Dan, Dan, you want to sense? I mean, sense? He, he was four for me, so seeing with the five isn't bad. Um, I'll be honest, like... I think he's better than the iconic, one of the iconic Lukes that still sees play, but mm-hmm. that's just me. And you can't go wrong with the image. I mean, Chris Kelly is like all over the image. I mean, it's his avatar on everything. So that's bonus points on my scale. So seeing it at five isn't bad. Okay. I thought Batman and... was going to put it lower, but that's just Bat me. Mouse, you good with that? Uh, yeah, Young Skywalker can stay there because I'm 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 good with Young Skywalker. The other four Luke's are are okay. good cards. Yeah, I all mean, right. So I'm so happy. I had Young four. Skywalker at eight, but it's because I was afraid to put him higher. Like, yeah, I I will say, you know, I've been critical in eight. some of my previous picks at the, towards the bottom end, but like uh, the the PC batted out of the park with uh, with Young Skywalker and with. Uh, emperor palpatine galactic whatever uh like those those two cards like for the long for like the entire my life's work has been to convince somebody to make another destiny six luke and and uh, they and finally you know finally i i felt yeah finally it happened and and it's and it's a great like it's it's so it's rock solid playable uh without making lsjk unplayable uh but like, yeah, and, and it doesn't make, and it doesn't, yeah. you know, it doesn't feel like power creep, but it still has the destiny The you know, I've, I've heard that Chris Kelly likes drawing destiny sixes. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I also like likes drawing destiny it. sixes. Like it's, it's a, it's a really cool, it's a really cool card. And yeah, you're right. The image is great on it too. All right. So young Sal Kobe number five and Carl back to you with your last pick of the list. Can I interject really quick? Yeah, what's up, Dan? Oh, uh, Kendall, really quick, just for your little bit of information, Justin Desai is playing court right now. Oh, nice. Of the vile <laughs> gangster? Yeah. Wow. Uh, right? I guess he thinks it's deck. Um, um, back to four uh, with Carl. I tried to make it through this list without drinking, and that didn't work. <laughs> that lasted all of one pick. Yep. We are All flying through this so list, by the way. I feel this, like there have been eight. There have been top eights with eight picks that are. So that we don't get. I have to fast. pick a card that was number seven on my list at four, and I feel bad about this. So I'm toasting Master Luke V. This is about where I had you, but <laughs> um, Luke Skywalker, the Last Jedi, is my pick at number four. Okay. Um, it is an amazingly well-designed card. It strikes the right balance at being a Destiny 4. Um, it's a lot of play in uh, I ain't Qui-Gon sensing, community. I ain't doing crap. I'm happy with that one. Um, <laughs> it is the only thing that holds it down is the deployment restriction of can't deploying at a site with another, where, where, other, where there's presence by the dark side. So... And it's thematic from, you know, the way that the he is in the movie. Um, it forces you to go first, and sometimes you have to play a little bad or faster. And it's played in Legend. It plays in other cards or in other decks. So I will try and save the list as best I can. So Master Luke, this one's for you. Luke, The Last Jedi, number four. All right. So, Dan, you said no sense. Batmouse. Nope, nothing, nothing. 100%. Let's go. You good on this, Batmouse? Um, I, I've been trying to get the damn card lower and lower and lower. Uh, yeah, that's kinda, same, um, same. I mean, I had it about seven. There's same. a couple that got higher on the list that I would have put like, but the, it, 
It saves the top three, so Bat Mask, you can't screw it up. To I mean, you just joking. I no, I can. I I I one hundred percent. All right. This top so four is this top four is is last is, Jedi is will great. be number yeah. four, and I will say the top three Luke's will have to be either Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker V, or Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout V, and all in all. That's not terrible, right, guys? No. Yep. Yeah, I, I, Chris? I, I, to, to listeners, I feel like I did us a disservice and gave Batmas too much power. My bad on that. Uh, and for those of you following on Twitch, I'm about to step away. I'm not leaving the protest, although some may say I should. I'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> Chris, can I just say really quick, I love yeah. the fact that you call him Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. I do it the same thing. It, it's like I get it confused all the time, too. Uh, so... Pick number three is going to go to Batmouse, and this is your final pick. Although, with all of your senses, you pretty much control it anyway. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. I'm happy. Okay. No, nothing. Nothing. Skywalker, I'm 100% so, okay with that. He is not the best Luke. He's not the, the best Luke. Oh, the man. Only you know one what would be, could, you know what would be, would who, be wild? Would have been wild if Batmouse had not picked rebel scout at like number 15 or whatever or 14 and then and then dan picked uh rebel scout at number two and then the audience pushed it to number one how great would that have been oh wow. i ran back so... inside to at least use my altar okay so uh, you, you don't have to it's fine so jedi knight luke will be number three yep. um the problem with this is because it's forced to pick it no one's going to talk about it so i guess i will um such a great card <laughs> Uh, the fact that he is a Destiny 6 at the time especially was so revolutionary of Decipher. It represents the fact that even when Luke is hidden in your deck, he is still a threat to the Empire. And based on the fact that five of six movies or four of, of the first six movies are specifically tailored to dealing with Luke and the threat he is to Palpatine, I think that's great. Um, iconic, iconic image. Um, iconic name. It's a card that everyone was waiting for. Uh, and back in the, the premiere through uh, Death Star 2 days, he was a beast that you could not get off the table. Um, and he was worth the 8 deploy back then. So great, great card. Um, and that will leave number two with Dan. Well, let me, so before I do that. Yeah, let's, I want to say something, about, I wanna say something about Jedi Knight Luke. So yeah, you can talk though. Okay, uh, best story I have regarding a Je uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, uh, I'm in line to pay for an, an event in Pittsburgh, and there's two packs of Reflections 2 left in a box. And I go, and I'm like, you know what, why not? I, so I splurge, buy the last two packs. And the guy behind me, who's a good friend still, uh, he's a friend of mine, uh, Pat Johnson, all the players from Pittsburgh, he's like, oh man, I wanted to buy those. So we go into the place, we sit uh, in the it's being held at a library so we go down sit uh, open a pack the first one is a luke with lightsaber foil i'm just like okay cool you know happy i got a luke skywalker with a uh, lightsaber you know first one the very next pack is a foil luke skywalker jedi knight i i will never forget the feeling that i had opening up an lsjk never open one but i will play abyss <laughs> i i just want to say i just want to say like i agree with with everything that's been said luke skywalker jedi knight is 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 an iconic card a powerful card uh an exciting you know really exciting card really great image uh that was had to be photoshopped because the image originally had luke with his mouth open um and um uh, but also i think it speaks to how how great a job that the pc has done that this card that for many, many years would have been unquestionably number one on the list uh, is that, there, that we're even having a discussion and that it's and that it's actually a couple point, a couple slots down really speaks to uh, just just how many cool cards have come out in the last 20 years. And the hard work of, of people uh, making sure to save their senses. Um, and if you guys don't mind, uh, uh why, Chris, why don't you run down the, the, the top 14 before we go to number two uh, and give me about 45 seconds to use the restroom. 
Yeah, so I'm going to go down uh, the list. Uh, I'm going to try to get past number 15, but here we go. Uh, 16 is Luke from the two-player game. 15 is somehow Master Luke Virtual. Um, I'll note that a shield was used to lock that pick in um, by the mastermind who wanted to destroy the credibility of this group and organization. His uh, own show, too. Yeah. 14 is Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout, um, the non-virtual one, Reflections 2 version. Back in the day, it came out uh, as an ultra-rare replacement. He kind of messed with bringing before me. And a little-known fact, when he cancels a walker's immunity, it is until that walker leaves the table. And it's yeah. not really a costed action. He just does it. Um, so that's pretty cool. 13 is Emperor's Prize, uh, needed for bringing him before me to duel Luke in decks that cannot play Luke. Wow. 12 is Commander Luke, the first ever card that was a new persona okay, of a character. Uh, oh, good, I was stalling. Uh, 11 <laughs> is Commander Luke, uh, virtual. 10 is Master Luke. 9 is Luke Rebellion's Hope. 8 is Son of Skywalker. 7 is Luke Skywalker. Six is Luke with lightsaber. Five is young Skywalker. And the top four is Luke the Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. And with pick number two, going to Dan is... I think everybody can feel it. I'm going to go with Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout B. Yes. Well played. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, Batmouse, do you wish to sense? I shall not sense the card that I want at number two. Okay. So, Dan, I'll give you a little time to talk about that, but that does sure up the list. Yep, it does. So I had it at number two. It's probably the best designed I want to fight Luke. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, it's a... Like, the fact that you can play Saitor Kalfas V or like my father before me, get a lightsaber on there. Your swings are plus one. He does. He makes your opponent use a force to swing at him. He has decent immunity. He has. You can redraw him. It's almost. It's literally everything I want in a character Luke. Even though the legacy version was better, um, but that's besides the point. If I'm playing Hitco, I want that card. If I'm playing any sorts of mains and toys deck. I want that Luke in my deck. It is a it's a good picture. It looks amazing foil. I am so I'm happy to have it at number two. Yes, yes. For I, one reason and one reason yeah. only. I I I mean, look, the audience picked it and moved it up. Like I said, it would have been great if if uh, it would have been great 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 podcast. It would have been an epic podcast if uh, if the audience could have pushed it. But unfortunately, yeah. the audience only gets one sense. They only have so much power in this. Um, yep. And I'm okay with that right now. Uh, it, it took three senses to say to save it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, dude. As soon as as soon as we got to number four, I'm just like, I know this is gonna happen because Carl's gonna go with the one. I'm gonna go with this one, and that's gonna leave the one that I have at my number one in number one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Any other any other thoughts specifically on Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout? Nope. No. It's okay. a great card. It, whoever I, designed it, I think it did a really hell of a also, job designing well, it. Well, I'll just shout out that the, the redraw text is really cool. Mm -hmm. Um it's yeah. a it's a really good way of if you didn't want to make another Destiny Six Luke, um mm -hmm. it's a it's a very it's a very powerful ability that that can you know kind of hold up against it. As someone who's new to the game and does not own an LSJK, the fact that Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout is there up until Young Skywalker came about, I felt like I was not severely behind in my deck choices if I wanted to play a mains and toy Luke. Like it gave me the ability to play a powerful persona of Luke Skywalker as a Jedi Knight. And while not nearly as good as still being a threat to the Empire in your deck, was almost right there in the redraw. So that's the threat. reason why he has a threat in your deck. It, it's a because he not as he draws, much as you draw the him other into one. it's card advantage. You know, yeah. It's, and it's, and um, that's the thing. Like having him as a redraw and mm -hmm. your opponent, like they initiate you, they uh, they initiate you draw him as a destiny, and they know that you have a Luke that's going to be mm -hmm. able to come down on their next turn right. on your next turn. 
is just so good. It's yeah. such a psychological psychological advantage for the light side player. It also it also um, you know we don't we don't always talk about filtering your deck the way that you, as much as you do in in Magic. Uh, mm -hmm. You know when you're when you talk a lot of times you talk in Magic about you know pulling the lands out so that you can be yep. more likely to get your good draws. You know those th that redraw text it it not only does it make it so that you didn't draw a one, it gets a one out of your deck. Um, you know and and you can play and because of that you can play more copies than you would have. Like it's just such a it's such an elegant design yeah. that that creates and he's I mean he's a beast. And he should be. And I could not Luke. have said that better. I could not have said that better on the redraw, the filtering out. Like that is such good card advantage, especially like, coming from a magic background. Like it's such a good designed card. I, I'm also not a, a, a guy that has a, a LSJKs lying around. Um, I know you borrow out. mine. I, I do borrow yours. Um, or I'll just play Abyss and laugh at everybody that tried to draw them <laughs> against me. Um, I, I'm just, I, I'm I, I like Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout. Um, I play him in my QMC um, because why wouldn't you want to just react a guy around who you know can make them pay plus one to swing after you've already played Antilles Maneuver V. Yeah. So now swing for plus two and I'll play two close for comfort and sure swing for four force that'll be fine should be fun. <laughs> I bet you have the blaster deflection to cancel the swing anyways. I am that nice. You are and yet, right. and yet, with his, with all that, like this, and this is again why the design is so great. With all that raw power that he has, he's still not like frustrating to play against. That no. the way that the way yeah. that some of the other Luke's are, and the way that some cards can be in the game. All right, we ready Carl for number one? Uh, well, Carl I'm just gonna just real seething. quick. Everyone's uh, talking no, about the design. Luke okay. Skywalker, Rebel Scout was. I'm gonna go ahead and take credit for it. Um, so thank <laughs> you. I appreciate those accolades. Um, but in, in real life, um, so when I got on design, part of it, the criteria was you had to submit designs um, as like a test. And that was one of my designs was uh, Luke, who you would redraw to account for not being Destiny 6. Um, so I guess background is in a lot of ways that design of Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout, um, what we see today. And remember, it used to be Young Skywalker. Mm -hmm. um, but and that whole design what? is actually what got me on to design and development um, way back when. So this is kind of going full circle. And he's fun. He's mm -hmm. fun to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. It's got uh, Chris so. Kelly written all over it. Luke, yeah. fun. Dan, yeah. I'm not seething. It was my number... Uh, Rebel Scout was my number one. Yeah. And my top three take the order they're all amazing personas right and so kendall let's give you a chance to yeah, set the you stage. get to do it kendall. it's, it's your right. show you have the honors of announcing the best luke all right so i pick i got this pick and and you know when we do this obviously there's only one left for number one um so but when i made my list this was my number one it sounds like it was three of the four of us is number one um yep percent Hundred percent. Probably, probably the most iconic virtual card ever. It's from Virtual Set One, and it, I don't think it's changed at all uh, no. in 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 twenty in in twenty some years of the of the players committee. It has the it has the iconic image uh, from Premiere. Of course, I'm talking about Luke Skywalker strong in the Force. No. Um, <laughs> Double oh, oh my god, that was great. Thank you. But obviously, Luke Skywalker Strong in the Force like has come up a lot in the in our discussions here. Like, uh because if only there was somebody in design that could like maybe do something to bring that back. But no, Luke Skywalker virtual. Uh yeah, great great AI, but also the original the original is, the original is great. Um yeah. uh yeah, yeah. Can't um can't say enough good things about it he gets a retrieve every turn he hangs out in space like a cool guy um yeah yeah um <laughs> somebody says two-player game approve this message says two-player game luke was cheated here uh, he was on uh, number 16 things about right <laughs> you made the list you made, you made the, the list, list. He, there was no choice but for him to make yeah. the list yeah but uh, but yeah, this is it's just it's the card. This is the card. This is the card. Like mm -hmm. it, I'm so glad. Like Rebel Scout, you know, 
a lot of uh, Rebel Scout is the is the most is the most playable, most virtu versatile, strongest Luke, but it's still not the best know, Luke. It, it's still not the best Luke. Best is I, this I, uber su subjective criteria that nobody understands, uh, and uh, and we make up as we go along. It's the most. It should be the number one in a top eight with Corin and Batmouse list. Like it is the perfect. Oh. It is the perfect one to be number one there. I, I wore the helmet. Yeah, the you wore the helmet. The show. I, I, I've gone and say on multiple records saying it's my favorite virtual card. Like it's so iconic. Like you touched upon it. The first ten cards for virtual cards back in two thousand two, there was Luke and Darth Vader. Like there was the fusion generators, there was Han's heavy blaster and the assault rifle. None of those have survived to this point without some sort of change. He is the only card from those 10 that has survived 21 years. And because he was just so well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and to think about it, the best deck that this loot can be in still hasn't been virtualized to be updated yet in MBO virtual. Let's go. <laughs> That's a good point. We forget uh, about the attack run. Uh, there, there's a line of text that no one thinks yeah. about, but it's there. there is, yeah, you're right. You are 100% right. No. All right. How do, you feel? How do you feel, Chris? Well, I would say just to add on this, I think Dan hit the point pretty well. That AI of Luke Skywalker V is so good, and I love it, and it might be my favorite AI. However, Luke Skywalker V is so iconic, I kind of don't want to use the AI. Yeah. And that just speaks yes. to how you feel about you're denying yourself this incredible AI foil just so you get the feels of that. Yep. And I will yep. say, I will say the fact that the fact that Dex want to play Rebellion's Hope over Luke Skywalker V in space pushes Rebellion's Hope down the list. Uh, like, yeah. because I want, because I don't want, I want to be forced to play this version of Luke. I don't want to feel like I'm only playing, because I'm going to play it. I don't yeah. want to feel like, I don't want to feel like I am uh, choosing to play it because he's more fun for me as opposed to at the expense, at the cost of, of maybe, you know, losing some games or whatever. Uh, and I don't like, yeah, I don't, I like, I like playing R2 and Red 5 and I like playing Luke Skywalker virtual. My number okay. one. He so, goes, he fits so nicely in the bat wall or uh, bat 40. Bat four, yeah, bat 40. He's, he fits uh, he's so a nicely into watch your step. Mm -hmm. To like so many good decks that he could just You're go into. Yeah. All right. All right, so now um, we'll run the calculations. We will see whose list is the best. Um, your final list is locked in. But Don't forget the, the helmet points. The correct <laughs> list, the list not by Red 1, Red 2, Red 3, Red 4, but the Luke list given by Red 5 <laughs> is as follows. And I'm not going to talk about them all because we kind of belabored a lot, but 16, obviously Luke. 15, Commander Luke Skywalker. 14, Son of Skywalker. I get the iconicness. He's just not playable right now. Yeah. 13, Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout. 12, Master Luke. 11, Luke Skywalker. 10, Luke Skywalker, The Emperor's Prize. I had him higher, not because he helps the light side, but because he's so integral to bring him before me, running yeah. him. Um, he means more to that deck than some of the other Lukes mean to their decks. Uh, 9, Commander Luke Skywalker. 8, Luke with lightsaber. Could have been higher, but so many good Lukes. Seven, Last Jedi. Six, beat me up if you want, Luke Skywalker V. Here's why. He's great. <laughs> He's iconic. He is needed on the ground. Luke in space, so many decks are happy to see. Um, if you're running Luke Skywalker as your Luke, you have to give up Leia, so you're already down on the ground, and AOBS is happy. He's great, but he's needed on the ground. Five. The podcast, I'm throwing things at him. He <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Four, Master Luke. I have no idea how he ended up so low. Oh, you Three, know how he did. Young Skywalker helped so many people. I've gotten so much good feedback about that card. Um, and it feels really good that a lot of people now can feel like they can bring a top-level deck um, to, to events. That, that's a really good story. Uh, two, I have Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout. He's great. Everyone loves him. One, obviously, LSA JK. 
Um, there's nothing like drawing at Destiny 6. There's nothing like him sticking on the table when they draw Destiny 6. Uh, so iconic. And you just feel good when you get him in a pack. Um, when you get him on Gemp, you just feel good. So that's the right list. You guys came close. <laughs> Top three, not wrong what you guys did, but uh, well played. Well, I so will say, I will say you had the opportunity to contribute to the real list, and you opted not to. Uh, so ours is the list of record. Ours is a better list. I'm just saying. So, so why why don't you run through the just one last time? Run through the uh, run through the official the, the official, official list. list is starting at 16 with Luke, an asterisk. 15 Master Luke V, 14 Luke Skywalker Rebel Scout, 13 Luke Skywalker the Emperor's Prize, 12 Commander Luke, and 11 Commander Luke Virtual. And your top 10 best Lukes are Master Luke. Luke Skywalker, The Rebellion's Hope, Son of Skywalker, Luke Skywalker. Number six is Luke with Lightsaber, five, Young Skywalker, four, Luke Skywalker, The Last Jedi, three, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, two, Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout Virtual, which was also the audience pick, and number one, Luke Skywalker Virtual. Uh, so we will tally up the votes and tally up the points. And this game would probably be best played by Batmouse, who saved all of his senses, to basically force the list to be the top three that he wanted it to be. However, I cannot honor his debauchery in this game. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so it then helmet would have points. to default add my, add my helmet points. Add to my helmet points. Kendall, but he screwed it up on his <laughs> very first pick. So he's out of the running, leaving either Dan or Carl. Dan I called Carl for this, picking red four, giving Batmouse all the senses. And also Dan's pick of Luke Skywalker, Rebel Scout at two, matched my pick at two. So congratulations to your winner, Dan. Oh. Redemption, right. redemption. Right. The only guest you have lost before. Oh, do I get like 30 seconds of FaceTime? Like on, uh, around the horn? This is your you time to shine. Like, sure, okay, sure. Okay, so... Uh, just so, uh, for everybody to know, uh, I had so much fun putting this list together. Thank you, Kendall, for doing this. And it has been a blast, regardless of the fact that Luke, Master Luke, which is a fantastic card, uh, well-designed. I don't know who designed it, Chris Kelly, uh, but it is such a good card. And I, you know what? I have no problems with it is at 15. Honestly, like, again, what can be said else about number one, else, uh, our number one card? Then Luke Skywalker V. I definitely feel like it is the best Luke Skywalker because it is the best Luke Skywalker. Yep, because because you feel it in your heart. That's what it's all about. I have a heart. I'm not a cold person. That's I'm glad Luke Skywalker you, number one. I'm glad that the community went with my vote and had Rebel Scout higher than well. me, but. Uh, Kendall, uh, thanks for letting me be the stand-in. I had a great time putting this list together. Uh, I think I need to drink more after I survived it, but this was a lot of fun. Three beers down. And we flew through it. We were thinking this was going to be like three or four hours long. It's it's not even two. Yeah, we did. It's not, not, not even yeah, two. Yeah, listen guys. to. Great. That's great. great. great now job. I got to go play. Great now job. I got to go play light uh, in the Jawa Cup. And this was this was our first time. I don't know if we'll do. I don't know if we'll uh, do it every time or if we'll do it select time. But we did. We did stream. Uh, stream the video live to Twitch, uh, and it seems like we actually had a few a few viewers in the chat, so I appreciate that, uh, especially on the short nor short notice, uh, the day after Christmas and in the prime time. So I uh, appreciate I appreciate that, and I appreciate everyone for listening. Um, any uh, any other final uh, thought things before we sign out here? Just want to uh, say thanks, Kendall, for putting this together, and thank everyone for listening. Um, hope everyone's having a great great New Year. And I look forward to uh, seeing you all in 2024. All right. And thanks, everyone, for listening. I, oh, yeah. What you you have something, Batmouse? I, I, just, I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, for playing and um, and having fun and and, and and doing this list correct and correctly, even though everyone decided to put three senses in a row on Batmouse. Our old <laughs> viewers, I apologize. I wrote down that I thought Red 4 had these senses, okay? <laughs> My bad. <laughs>
It's like I mistracked. I, yeah, it yeah. happens. I'm it's, sorry. Look, in an episode, in, in our double episode, when there was double Batmouse, because Wait, Ke- and Kendall decided what he would, also wanted what to did, be what did ba- What Batmouse pick got through that... Uh, <laughs> That you would that you would have used that extra sense on though. Um. Hmm. I don't think Batmouse actually had a bad pick. Else, yeah. Like the only yeah. bad pick was at number fifteen. The system worked. No, I mean, I yeah, but we had to use a lot of senses to get to him to the get to the right pick in the beginning. Yeah. So that's yeah. when if I had had one extra sense, I that's feel the like, game that Batmouse plays. It's his world. We're just living you know, in it. I tried to mitigate that, but I wrote down the wrong number. <laughs> okay yeah I, now i will say i will say i think i think it was batmouse that came up with the he can go about his business shield which uh you know so if you want to blame batmouse for anything so we just blame batmouse for everything but seriously I, that, but, you know but like i said like i would say you know i mean that's in good faith like he is one of the cards that i like to li- anyway uh, don't dwell on it um thanks everyone for listening thanks everyone for watching uh thanks batmouse for being on 10 episodes with me um this has been this has been a really cool year uh yeah yeah (laughs) hopefully we can do at least 10 more in 2024 uh yeah and and uh all the other podcasts uh corin on the horn uh we did like one episode of bad deck breakdowns this year so i i i I wouldn't i wouldn't hold your breath on that but uh but yeah 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 keep keep an eye out uh if you're watching on on, you can you so you'll be able to see this on Twitch, and then also uh, all the podcasts go to YouTube. Uh, it's the Ken, Kendall Cast on YouTube, and uh, and then of course the uh, Kendall Cast feed or the Bad Deck Breakdowns feed uh, on the podcatcher of your choice. Thanks again, everyone. Good luck, have fun, and no reverts. All right. Yeah, we kept it right under two hours. Cool.